I'm scared. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, no. What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna be breaking five mil and six mil diamond braid polyester rope. But before we do that, I wanna tell you a quick little story. About a month ago, we were in Mexico, rigging Mexico's longest high line, uh, measuring about 1.05 kilometers. And we were hauling on this exact system that you see here. We had our five millimeter cord going through a Petzl Pro traction. We had to keep it really tight because the gap wasn't very high. And what ended up happening it broke in the teeth here of the protraction and as a result uh, two people could have been severely injured or have even died and it was really scary we got away really lucky but I'll make another video on that whole story at another time and I'll put it up here on the corner for when that comes around today I just want to go over what happened and test some of the ropes to see if diamond braid rope is safe to haul on a tooth device like the Petzl Pro Traction or the Petzl Micro Tractions. So here we have our five millimeter cord in the Pro Traction and what we're gonna do today, we're gonna test some uh, sort of brand new five millimeter cord which is in this bag and also some really old six millimeter cord which is in this bag and you can see this is nice and white and shiny. This one's a little old. That wasn't done on purpose. We've just had the six mil for much longer and the five mil for much less time. Now, to be fair, this test uh, won't really emulate what we did in Mexico because the five mil cord that we used in Mexico was much older than this cord. This cord is much nicer, but we're still hoping to get some numbers and put it, put it on the table for you guys to see here. So what we're gonna do we're going to first do some static tests. So it's in the Protrax, it's caught on the teeth. And over here we have an unfinished eight to our dynamometer here. We have our catch cord here when, when it pops and explodes. And we're essentially going to pull these pulleys until this indefinitely breaks in those teeth right there. We're gonna test both the five and the six mil in both traction devices several times, see what we get. Okay, so for test number one, we have five mil braided rope in the protraction. We're gonna repeat this test about three times. Here's break number one. Let's hope, uh, let's hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> 1.7 kilonewtons max. And of course, not surprisingly, broke right in the teeth of the protrax here. Uh, so, like I said, this is a brand new or sort of brand new. We've used it a couple of times. Five millimeter braided polyester core rope and broke at 1.7 kilonewtons peak in a protraction. So we're gonna do that two more times and see what we get. And we're just going to be writing down these values to put them in a table. So enjoy those breaks. I just ate it. 1.52 kilonewtons on this one. So this one was even lower than the first one. All right, here goes test number three on the five mil cord. 1.76, that's a new record. This is safe. Just kidding. Okay, so we just finished the three tests on the five millimeter in the protraction. And we got 1.7 kilonewtons, 1.52 kilonewtons, and 1.76 kilonewtons. In my opinion, all numbers that are kind of small, especially considered how badly it slipped before it started to break. Now we're gonna use the micro tracks and see if we get anything different with the five millimeter. Stay tuned. All right, so this is test one for five mil in the micro traction. Not that much different, 1.58 kilonewtons. I was honestly expecting something a lot better than that for this. Let's try it two more times, see what we get. We're now doing test two with the five mil cord and the micro traction. Hit it, Greg. 
1.78. Yeah, this is really not much better than the Pro Traction. We should try double wrapping it. Now that's an idea. We're gonna do three double wrap pull tests and see if we get anything different after we finish the third one of this one. And here goes the final test for five millimeter in the micro traction. 1.62, another ridiculously sad and dangerous number to be hauling on. The next test we're gonna try is we're gonna try double wrapping the five millimeter in the micro tracks. You can't double wrap in the pro traction because it's got this plate that kind of prevents that from happening. But in the micro traction, you can do that. So we're gonna see if that changes anything and we'll go from there. Here's test one of the double wrap in the micro traction. 2.16 kilonewtons. So that's a lot better than what we've been getting in the previous test. So let's do that two more times. All right, we have test two of the five mil in the micro tracks. I'm gonna step behind the camera. 2.38 kilonewtons. Not too bad. We've got test number three of our five mil double wrapped in the micro tracks. Oh, that's the best one yet. 2.42. We're now done with the five mil. A uh, little bit of notes. Um, even though it wasn't breaking at a much higher strength in the micro traction than in the pro traction, it was definitely slipping a lot in the pro traction before it broke on that. So that's really concerning because if you're having slippage issues with a braided rope like this, you're going to get fraying over time. And as you get more and more fraying, it's going to be weaker in certain spots. And that's actually what we think happened in Mexico, but we're not going to get into that in this video. Um, and it just broke in the micro traction without slipping, at least to what we could see. So that's a good thing. Um, and something definitely important to know. Um, so here's why I think that happened. If you look at the two devices side by side and their teeth, you'll notice that the micro traction here has more teeth actually, and they're a lot more closely spaced together than the pro traction here. Now if I take a little bit of five mil here and just put it in front of these teeth just to show you, you can see that the five mil is gonna engage with most of those teeth. It's pretty close to engaging with 100% of the teeth actually. Um, and it's also a thinner entrance than this one. And if you, if you see with the pro traction here, if I put it on there, you could see that it's not really engaging with any of those outside teeth at all. And you know, because this is such a wide pulley compared to the micro traction, it could even go like out here when you're pulling and not engage with more than half of the teeth in there. So. Uh, just some of my notes. Um, I still think the micro traction is a lot better for hauling lines than the pro traction, simply because it doesn't slip like it does in the pro traction. Last weekend, I was actually hauling a 260 meter line using this five mil stuff in a pro traction, and even under really low tensions, I was noticing slippage in in this guy. So, kind of scary. Kind of don't want to do that again. Um, Anyway, we're gonna move on to six mil now to see if the extra weight and cost of that of that rope is worth using over this five mil stuff. So stay tuned for that. This is our first ever brake test in the backyard. If you guys enjoy content like this and enjoy watching our adventures, do me a quick favor down below on the screen right here. Click the like and subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss when we do another crazy thing like this uh, it helps us out a lot it costs you nothing and we really appreciate it thank you guys so much we've now hopped on to six mil we're expecting really good results uh, first round of six mil in the pro traction here we go yeah, that was a good one. that's a good number 4.3 kilonewtons our high lines aren't even normally tensioned to this so 4.3 is something I'm really comfortable hauling on. So we're gonna do that two more times, see if we can get some consistent results. Then we're gonna see if the micro tracks offers anything different, but just from this one test, I think six mils the way to go, but we're gonna keep going, so don't go yet. Okay, so we've got test number two 
of six mil in a protraction. Here we go. 4.22 kilonewtons. So far, pretty consistent. We're gonna do this one more time, see if we get another four point something. We are now doing test three of six millimeter in the Protrax. And we've got special guests, my mom and my sister are here to witness their first ever brake test. So let's do it. 4.7 kilonewtons. I'm pretty happy with that. At 3.88, it did that, released tension to 0.34, and it's still holding on by a couple of threads. We're gonna keep pulling this and see if we can break it. Also, that's cool. Um, it didn't break in the teeth. It broke on that initial, uh, on that initial uh, fray, and it broke there at 2.54 kilonewtons. So just to conclude, uh, we are not comfortable putting the five mil stuff, this stuff in tooth devices. It just breaks way too low and we had a really close call with it. Um, we are however comfortable with six mil in the tooth devices because I was breaking at a super good enough uh, number. Um, next video, we'll try some non-tooth devices and see if we can get uh, the values we were getting in the Munter or maybe the answer is to go back to the old school ways and just start tying Munters again and hauling through those so yeah again um, just one more time let me know what you guys think uh, we're done here this is uh we have enough backyard science shenanigans with all those brake tests we've got so yep we'll see you guys later